Beautiful tree, right? Quercus virginiana, a live oak. While examining this specimen, I noticed a large stem curling root. Uh-oh. Not a good thing. This is the whole reason I uploaded this video. The sooner you can catch stem girdling roots, the less adverse the symptoms are of removing the stem girdling root. We excavated the root to assess the damage that has been done. We are evaluating the trunk to see if it's already started to decay. And some of the bark does look like it may be sloughing off, but it still looks pretty healthy. Live oaks are very resilient trees and are some of the longest, most dense trees and have the fewest problems in our landscape here in Florida. These trees can easily live to 150 years old and then start showing their age a little bit. There are specimens that have lived longer than that. However, they usually have a few problems that need addressing by that age. So you found a stem growing root on one of your trees. What do you do about it? Well, in many of the cases, you can do a root extraction. We're gonna do a root extraction on this. However, it is a very large root. We weren't sure about the total effects of root flare excavation and extraction of this large stem growing root would cause. But the lady really likes her tree and she wants to see the tree go on for another hundred years. This stem girdling root would not allow this tree to live healthily for another hundred years. There may still be some negative side effects to removing stem girdling roots. You can have some crown dieback or small dead branches. However, if all goes well, the tree should recover and continue to grow and allow the tree to expand in girth at the base where it needs to, to be stable and to allow the transport of nutrients up through the tree. The stem girdling root removal process is a little tricky. In many cases, you can use a reciprocating saw. Sometimes they're a lot more precise. On large stem girdling roots such as this, we use the chainsaw because for one, the tree is very dense, and for two, a reciprocating saw would impact the trunk of the tree and basically make the saw jump. And I'm fairly good with a chainsaw, so I felt more confident in just using the chainsaw to remove the stem girdling root. I've made two cuts, one on either side of the stem curling root, and now I'm clearing out a gully or an area where I can look down into stem curling root and see if there's a cut going all the way to the bark of the other side. It appears that we were successful on this side. So we're gonna give it a little whack and see if it comes loose. And it doesn't come loose after about three whacks, so we're gonna have to go to plan B. We're gonna go ahead and do a little more excavation on the right cut so we can be sure that we've reached all the way through to the bark of the trunk of the tree. Now you may nick the bark of the tree and that's okay. A small bit of damage to the trunk of the tree is kind of like the same thing as going to the doctor and getting a shot to prevent a much larger issue. Doing nothing could cost you your life. However, doing this may cost you a little band-aid when you leave the doctor but your body will naturally heal and so will the live oak it's very resilient and very low likelihood of root decline root decay or other fungal problems that would decay the tree so this tree should still be sound even if we nick it a little bit now the next cut was a pretty tricky one because this stem growing root was kind of like a sailboat in a bottle where the root was encompassed by parts of the stem it wouldn't come out we had to alleviate the pressure and the only way to do that would be to make a horizontal cut so the wood would compress against itself kind of like if pac-man closed his mouth it would make pac-man smaller we used that method and then we just gave it one good whack with the hammer and it just came right apart so now the stem growing root is removed hopefully this tree will recover fast like you do when you get a shot at the doctor if you like trees in the natural world, you should subscribe. We'll see you next time.